Hello, I'm Bob Dickens of the Binovice, and we're going to show you now how to, it easy it is to import a Swim5 file into um, ICM. First thing I do before I do this, however, is to go to Swim5 and make sure that it's the, the Swim5 that I'm importing is the current Swim5. And the current Swim5 is Swim5.1, so you just want to make sure that there's no particular problem, so just make sure that you save it in the new format. Okay, now that you, now once you've saved it in a new format, you can go to ICM, make a new model network, and that, that should be a blank model network, and then go to Network, Import, and one of the options is to import a SWIM5 text file. So we find a SWIM5 text file, and as usual, I keep most of my things in the, um, in my directory, my uh, desktop directory, and here we go. Uh, we use Manning's N for that. So we'll, <clears throat> now we import it. And we zoom to the network. And now we have our network. So it's it's very similar or very exactly the same as the um, Swim5 network. What does it look like when you, um, when you look at the uh, data? We well, can look at the uh, node data. So here's the translated ICM network out of uh, SWIM5. You can look at the link data. Here's the link data. You can also look at the subcatchment window. And the subcatchment window, it has the subcatchments and then the runoff surfaces. It uses um, fixed, green amp, and SWIM5 and SWIM5 routing, which is called SWIM, to SWIM in, in ICM. <clears throat> like all models in ICM, you need to validate the model. So validate it, and normally you don't have too many problems. A few, a few issues are um, the invert level of the orifice, so you can check that. But uh, for mo for the most part, everything imports pretty pretty well into 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 ICM. What's also missing is the fact that ICM does not import the rainfall data. So what you need to do is go to a time series in Swim5 make a CSV file inside of ICM and then import that CSV file into ICM. So ICM is very good at importing and exporting SWIM5 files. So you, it's, it's, very, it's very straightforward. You can almost run it right away. You can, you can export it back to, sw to SWIM5 and then also via SWIM5 you can also import it and export it into h 2 Map SWIM and also InfoSwim. So thank you for listening, and that's a little bit about the SWIM-5 import-export into ICM. Thank you.